John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> uh -huh. <laughs> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. <clears throat> When the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Sconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> Dang pig, them cock sucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. It's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them.
Bill ain't here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I Marcy! Missed it. Mr. Marcy, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshall? All right, boys. That's enough. Yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend, Mr. Irish, here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time, and we'll find your man, William, so no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't swim, you know. Me neither. But a current like this will carry you for miles. We'll end up on shore sooner or later. Look out, bandit! Cut the rope, Harry! Ooh, there's a river out. No point trying to land till we're well away from these bastards. Exactly the reception I was expecting. What the hell did you do to these fellas? Time to finish this. Escape. 
page, Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beast coming up. God damn it, there's another thing. We made it, thank the Lord. Oh, these horses look fresher. <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, <laughs> or was that Canada? <sighs> no, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. Uh, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. Uh, the famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! Hi, <laughs> you. Sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come meet, drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are... Confused and usually swayed. Sometimes, in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> that breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. An outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. 
that are possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! Are you going to ride with me? Barrosa! Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor. A liar. A coward and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía, levántese. Usted también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Come on, come on.
con, con el otro. No interrumpas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué nos va a ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with, uh, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, 
Locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Well done. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do, sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? Ay, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. <laughs> 